Now beyond its first 100 days in office, the new government of Belize has had no time to lament and no time for rhetoric. There are just too many challenges to be overcome and too much work to do. The Ministry of Agriculture, Food Security and Enterprise is perhaps one of the most critical ministries with a key role to play in rebuilding a devastated economy. In terms of agriculture, there was no emphasis or importance given by the past administration to what the potential of what the agricultural sector um, can, can do and can provide to our economy and how it can contribute to the livelihood of our people. With their work cut out for them, CEO Servo Lobaiza says they had to restructure the ministry as a matter of priority. While Belize is self-sufficient in poultry, pork, beef and basic grains, they had to look at export not only to foster growth of the sector but to bring in much needed foreign exchange. Given the conditions that we, that we have right now in the country, we know that we have to make sure that we inc increase our exports. So right coming into office, again, once again, you saw that the livestock industry was opened up again so that we can have, um, we, we have a trade in, in livestock, um, which up to now is going very well. We, ha we had um, an issue that we had an overstock, our farmers had an overstock of, of, of cattle, of over 30,000 heads of cattle in the pastures that should have been out already. And so we had to move quickly to be able to assist for them to facilitate that. As you may know, um, also um, chicken has also gone in, in both into the Caribbean and there has been now some, some trade with Mexico now with chicken. So again, we're trying to make sure that we assist our farmers for them to be able to take out their products. But it's more than just growing for export. One major thrust of the ministry immediately upon taking office is to create the opportunities and environment for local farmers and producers to provide much more of what the country consumes with a view to import substitution. When you look at the list of things that this country imports, you would realize that there are so many things that our own farmers can do. I mean, if we take the example of the dairy sector, if you look at the dairy sector, um, we are basically producing, I would say approximately about six to seven million dollars worth of what we consume. And yet, when you look at what is consumed in the country, it's almost $30 million worth. So you see the potential of what it is that that sector can go. And you talk, and I'm talking of so many things. I'm talking about milk, I'm talking about cheese, different types of cheese, you're talking about ice cream, yogurt, uh, butter. There's so many things that we could be doing in this country that we could be doing right here and yet we are importing so much. While the ministry recognizes and respects its obligation to the Belizean grown product, there is also an obligation to consumers, so the approach has to be a balancing act. We are in a, in a, in a unique position, I will say, that we can, this ministry right now can offer them some protection through our supplies control, and um, which is the permits that allow importation, and then we can give them the support to make sure that they grow. So we can sort of control the amount of imports that come in so that our own local industries can grow. But we have to do it in a balanced way because we have issues of quality, we have issues of price, which again we have to make sure that whatever we grow is of good quality and, of, and is affordable. We can't just be telling our people, well, you need to purchase these inferior goods at these higher prices. Um, and then we're going to stop, stop the importation, you know. So we have to strike a balance between those two, those two things. A strategic plan is being worked out with producers in every sector of agriculture, while the ministry is also lobbying for that most critical component, financing for farmers and agriculture stakeholders. We have already had a conversation with the DFC. We are in the process of developing a memorandum of understanding with DFC. Because when we look at the portfolio of DFC, we can see that a lot of the... the of their portfolio has been like in housing and the tourism sector and only a small part really has been going to the agricultural sector. We want to change that. We want to, 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 to make DFC more supportive of the agricultural sector. Whilst we understand that there is more risk in the agricultural sector and whatever investment is done has to be well thought out and has to be protected, but we need, a, we, we need more investment in the agricultural sector if we want to increase our production. The Ministry is committed to delivering on Plan Belize and is working hard to ensure that our people and nation remain the number one priorities. Our campaign of Buy Belize is, I think is very important 
because for some reason or the other we have the mindset that everything needs to be imported that everything that we import is better than what we have here in this country and that is totally false that is totally untrue we have so much here uh, our food is much is, fr is fresher is healthier I mean when we import things you don't even know what you're importing really but that is the mindset that a lot of our people have so it, uh, it, it is a challenge to change that but I do believe that this ministry um, can can do that and can achieve the goals that we have set up.